Hello, we just received our package from Best Value Vax. We got the Closed Pressure Column Extractor, 180 grams. Comes with an extraction tube, a valve. We want the pressure gauge, a rubber gasket, and a tiny micron mesh screen. Your stand is going to be a clamp. Comes with a silicone pad and silicone container, and also has a top clamp. So you're going to take your extraction tube, take your tiny micron mesh screen, make sure it's flush. Next is your valve. Pick up your stand and tighten it. On this part, you're going to want it nice and snug, not too tight to damage your equipment, but tight enough where there's no leaks. After this process, this will be the part where you're going to fill up your extraction tube with your herbs. Take your rubber gasket, pressure gauge. Make sure your rubber gasket is flush. Take your pressure gauge, put it on top. And then your top clamp. Make sure it's nice and snug. And this is the basic assembly of your closed pressure column. On our next step here, you're going to close the top valve, you're going to open up the bottom valve, hook up your vacuum, and if you have a pressure gauge, it comes in handy on this part because you're able to see where your vacuum's taking you. You'll be able to know when you're done, but if you just have the valve on top and bottom, you're going to listen to your vacuum the way it sounds. When you open and close it, if it doesn't make any sound difference, you're done. But if you hear your vacuum pulling, it's still not done, has a little bit more time. Just keep checking it. Once you're finished with the vacuum purge, you're going to close both valves. Make sure they're both closed. And then we'll be going on to the next step. All right, on our next step, you're going to grab your can, push down, and then open your top valve. If you have your pressure gauge, it comes in handy. You're able to see what pressure you're building up with your can. If you don't have the pressure gauge with this extraction tube, um, it takes about one can, I would say. You can keep a little bit more in there with doing the ice bath. Um, next step is the ice bath. You soak it in there for 30 minutes to 90 minutes. And during the bath, you can actually put more butane as it goes, so you can fill it up more. Wipe off your extraction tube so there's no drips. You're going to open up your valve slowly, because there's a lot of pressure built up, as you can see. Even on this video, I open up a little too fast. But it comes out really nice. This is a nice product. I really enjoy it. Um, it beats any glass tube out there. You're going to want to go with the pressure closed column because you're going to get the terps and what you want out of it. It's uh, really good for me so far. I'm really enjoying it. I've done everything from live to dry and it's doing me good here. It, and if you're checking out, it's best value backs.